she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and... Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, Gra Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A f Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I Hey, would you mind? Check it out. Aye, aye.
Nice. Hello, sir. So, this is... You ain't allowed to be in here, sir. Stop. Yeah, and don't come back. It's for your own good. Security, I need some help. We ain't running out of body bags anytime soon. <laughs> like you. Location checked. Suspect's not here. Over. 
Someone is dragging bodies around. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. Get to safety. We have a situation here. Okay, I'm with you here. One hundred. Mr. Fernsby, I'm ready to see the crime scene. Very well, Mr. Whitmer. If you'll follow me, sir. Stop. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them. If they seem affected back. by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked. The inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary's suicide a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity.
door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons uh, uh, here when he died. And before you ask, no, Maybe I do not is. have an alibi. I was alone in my well, office at the, at the time of death. Here's the material that I've prepared for you. Now, it's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Yes. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. So how does one... Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues Mr. first? Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. You should come and stay in my place. This is Emma and Gregory's room. American lawyer in the, the small office. Did you check his travel documents? I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. I received the full token. That is Alexa Carlyle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners and last Fernsby. one to be alive. You have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. If you Come and see only you do. knew. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer? You have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, for not yet. For centuries, the Carlyles have fought. 
I received the vault token for the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. Did I understand correctly that I should give it to Rebecca in case of your death? Exactly. She holds the other one. I want her to have the file on Arthur Edwards if I die. You're not fearful. Digging when she realizes things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Hopefully, she'll never have to get involved at all. You faced great obstacles, too, I know. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you're trespassing. Please, you need to turn around now. Yeah, keep it real. Nah, nah, you don't have the right clearance, mister. Please, don't waste my time. Looking good. Zachary was shopping for new Weddle. Oh, Zachary. At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlisle legacy, what bollocks. That's Madame Carlisle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards.
Yeah, hey, bro. I do not envy you. I can't forget his eyes. They were so swollen, it didn't even look like Zachary. Who is this Joker? Is he a friend of yours? Stop! Don't think about it! Yeah! Is this really it? I'm not gonna beg for my life if that's what you're hoping for. Back on for you! Oh, I got an officer down! Rip tight his head! Rip tight his head! Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47.
show up today. And she's never seen a dead body before. Poor Hello. Thing. And that detective asked to come here. Madam Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him? I wasn't in when Madame Carlyle showed up this morning. I'm sure my heart would have jumped right out of my chest. I can believe that. What a surprise. Seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! <laughs> 